African Americans who chose to ride on buses were forced to sit in the back. Some water fountains were designated for whites' use only. In restaurants, African Americans were not allowed to eat at the counter. They had to leave and eat outside. Other areas, like rec centers and swimming pools, were off limits as well. Even public education was influenced by this way of thinking. Black and white students did not sit in the same classrooms. They were not taught from the same teachers. They couldn't even go to the same schools. In 1954, the Supreme Court case, Brown v. Board of Education, ended the segregation of public schools in the United States. This case overruled the previous notion of separate but equal facilities by stating that separation was inherently unequal. Even though integration occurred, cases of students being placed in lower classes based on race was still happening along with white students boycotting certain integrated schools. 